I'd like to welcome to the program Tomasz Dechowski. He's a Czech member of European Parliament from the KDU CSL and the European People's Party. Hello, sir. Thank you for joining us, as always, here on TVP World. Good evening. It's every time it's my pleasure to be with you. Yes, now we got these big elections coming up. You yourself, I'm sure, are up for election, re-election. Uh, so just on a more personal note, if you might share with us, uh, are you going to win your election? Absolutely. I'm prepared to win election and I am prepared to beat the populists and to win with populists in the Czech Republic. Also, I'm totally sure that your prediction of election in the, in the Czech Republic is wrong and we will win it with democratic values and with freedom and with support of Ukraine, support of security, support of of um, a really pragmatic view of immigration and other very important things. Certainly. Um, according to the European Council on Foreign Relations, uh, the 2024 European parliamentary elections will see a major shift to the right in their opinion. Many countries with populist, radical right parties gaining votes and seats across the EU, center-left and green parties losing votes and seats. Um, if this is indeed true, perhaps it has to do with where um, some of the polling where they're estimating the voter turnout. And like just for here in Poland, for instance, I'll just throw out some numbers. Um, only 36.2% uh, in the latest poll surely say they're going to vote in the election. 8.6% rather yes, uh, but a whopping 31.2% say for sure they would not if the, if the elections are coming up next weekend, um, and as well as 20.8% saying rather no. So um, as it stands right now, the voter turnout here in Poland, I know maybe in Czech it may be different, um, is not looking very good. So I guess my question is if this is indeed true, a um, across the continent that, that more uh, conservative right-wing um, uh, members of the European Parliament will be elected. How will this affect uh, policy making, I guess, across the European Union? I can say one thing. It's difference between conservative and right-wing. Conservative, it means that we have a conservative program, conservative values. We know what we want to do with, um, with uh, democracy, with economy, with uh, 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 social sphere. But right, um, right wings, they are populist. They promise everything and they do nothing in the European Parliament. Also, this is very dif different and me, I come originally from Christian Democrat, and we are very conservative. We have a very conservative program and very similar. Also, I think that through your uh, through your figures, what you presented before, I think the European Parliament will be much more pragmatical, much more in uh, much more to the right because these five years was left wings domination. And I think it's necessary to find the balance. <clears throat> and most balanced parties are parties like Christian Democrats and uh, the, the European People's Party, what is promoting really prosperity and more values, what are really established in uh, all agreements of European Union. Also, I think that uh, it will be balance between the right-wing populists which will be stronger, and balance between left wings, populist, what will lose a lot of votes, especially Greens, will, will be the biggest loser of this election. And this I am absolutely sure, because they took the Green Deal much more ideological, and they didn't respond people the fear about the future of European industry and European economy. And people don't trust two promises that it will be everything green. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that we need to find it, the balance now and the reform and the figures, how to manage it and be still leader of the world. Right, certainly it can't be at any cost uh, approach. Yes, I wanted to ask you because you mentioned the Greens being the greatest losers in these upcoming 
<clears throat> elections. Uh, in that case, uh, do you think that the Green Deal will be recalibrated in some way in the near future? We just had a massive protest last week here in Poland, actually, because there is growing awareness of what the Green Deal actually means in practice, and that is actually unrealistic in terms of what it brings for, you know, just the regular European citizen. Yeah, this is what I'm saying from the beginning. Really, I asked uh, Mr. Former Vice President of European Commission, Franz Timmermans, every time for the studies and for the impact to the practical life of the people. And he was every time uh, performing some figures what after three years we have it another studies what shows that they were they were wrong 